Okay, yay. Well, I think everyone's gonna be joining, um, but join in as you enter this virtual room. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, this is our intentional marketing momentum gathering. And as you know, we're here to evaluate your year. So um, we're gonna explore that together over the next hour. And um, my intent is of course, to make sure that you all can um, reflect successfully, but also determine how you finish strong and start on the right footing for next year. So um, today we are going to, um, you know, whether you've, you've been to one of these before or not, maybe this is your first momentum gathering. I wanna explain a couple of things. Um, this is a signature style, uh, study hall styled event that I host. Um, and I do it quarterly to offer entrepreneurs um, opportunity to gain guidance, direction. Um, I have a style of asking not just questions, but um, contemplative and thought provoking questions. Maybe you already know that about me, but if you don't, you'll discover it in this time. <laughs> and um, mainly it's about, as I say, it's not just the moment, but it's the moments that give you momentum. And that's what I seek to create here. So um, also to explain about the event, um, I throughout, I'm going to be answering any questions you have. So feel free uh, when I'm not speaking in those quiet moments that we have, the study hall times, uh, to message me, private message me, any questions you have related to what we're talking about or beyond, and I will be happy to answer them as time allows. But for now, I want to connect you all to one another. So please use the chat and introduce yourself, your name, your company, and where you are geographically located. So um, go ahead and put that in the chat feature so you all can connect with one another as best we can in this virtual atmosphere. And um, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna explain a little bit more about the structure and housekeeping for this in case this is your first time. Um, this is a time to focus, reflect, and ponder. It is a study hall time. So I'm not, it's not your typical webinar. I'm not gonna talk the entire time. I am talkative, but not that talkative. I want you guys to do these things, reflect and ponder. Um, and I also want you to make sure, as much as I wanna hear your voice, hopefully we'll have times where you can speak, <laughs> but I want you to use the chat feature as much as possible. Make sure your microphone is on mute. Um, please keep your video on so we feel present with one another. But also don't mute me, please. You need to hear what I'm saying. It's not, there are questions on the screen, but make sure that you can, your audio is still on, but not your microphone. D, I think your uh, microphone is not muted yet. It's okay, you're not talking, but I just know. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, also if you know me or you're getting to know me, you know I don't begin anything without a set an intention. So I want us to do that now. You're gonna, what is your intention for being here today? What do you want to gain out of this experience? Of course, we're here to evaluate your year. I mean, that's what brought you to this fire, right? Um, but here we are gathered around a virtual fire um, and you're here with a purpose. You have an intent for being here. So connect with that now before we get started. Okay, so um, I'm gonna guide you all through step-by-step step today. Um, we are talking about evaluating your year. What that looks like to me is where have you been? So we've had almost 12 months now, it's crazy. It's been a unique year for sure. Where are you now as a result of all of that? And what is your next? We, I can't believe what somebody said, I don't, I'm not counting, but I think it's like, 40 days left in the 40, 45 days. I don't even know. It's like crazy how few days are left in this year. Um, so it is about what is next for rounding out this year strong, but beginning next with all the momentum that you need. So um, the other thing to know, as I say, step by step, is I like to use acronyms. So our acronym for today is evaluate. Um, and I'm going to roll right into it, but hopefully you have a pen and paper ready and are open to exploring for yourself what you can gain from this experience in this moment together. So the first one is E. I want you to think about what environment you are in. As I often say, your business lives in an environment. You're like, no, yeah, really, Catherine, that's profound. But we don't, so often we get so 
uh, you know, nose to the grindstone that we don't really think about how all of these things are affecting our business. Not till you're like this, where you really realize it, right? So there's some evident things of what's impacting you or happening around you, but I want you to think about what are those factors? What are the cultural or current events that are occurring? I think there's some evident ones like pandemic, um, some social unrest and political environments. We can list those out, but I want you to also think about what's happening in your environment for your business, right? What's affecting you? What's affecting, perhaps it's not affecting you, but it's affecting your clients or customers. And what is happening um, in your market? Maybe it's something in your industry, in your market that isn't affecting all businesses, but it's affecting your business. We see some of that with the pandemic, how it's affecting um, restaurants a bit different than another business. Some businesses moved more quickly virtually than others. Um, but consider those factors uh, for this year, but what's still at play, both positively and negatively. And here's a moment I'm gonna hush up and give you a couple of minutes to ponder on these things. And if you have questions, please, um, I'll be looking at the chat now. I'm smiling as I'm finally able to like click and see who is all here. So thank you all. I'm excited to see you guys. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna keep moving. So we, you know, there's quite a few letters here. So I'll make sure we keep the momentum. Uh -huh. Okay, so <laughs> the next one uh, here is the V. And so I wanna talk about value. So think about what value you gained or lost this year. Now, I want you to look at it in several ways. A predictable way, of course, is monetarily. Um, so look at the revenue. Has it gone up or down? Um, but I think even with that one, what I want you to think about is uh, not just if it went up or down, but consider where it's been coming from. What's been contributing to it? What has dipped? What are people not buying as much? Think about that. Also, um, are there new assets or offerings? Um, in marketing, I assets, I think, you know, I'll, I'll just use my own business as an example. Um, you know, I've created a couple new lead magnets. Um, I have a number of new talks that I've given because obviously environment has changed. Um, and those things become assets for your business. So have you uh, put together a new offering or a new talk? Um, or something that you can leverage and utilize to market yourself. Um, with acquisition and retention, uh, what I wanna hit on here is, first of all, always be aware of this in your business. Has it grown? Has it dropped? Where is that happening, right? Um, maybe you don't know that right off the top of your head, but what I want, want you to know about this is, um, you should always review the percentage of each. Always know, so many times in marketing, we get caught up in the acquisition, always marketing to get new, but retention is huge and it is so much harder to get a new client or customer than it is to keep one. You probably heard that before. I will echo that. Um, so again, you might not know the percentage today, but use this as an opportunity to, um, I would say at this point, hypothesize which one's stronger <laughs> and, um, and really look at your numbers after this. Um, gains or losses in terms of opportunities. Is there um, you know, a new partnership that you've developed? Uh, uh, you know, I think um, you know, in challenging times, it's very natural to reach out to your network, to your community, and have you found a natural um, connection that you've begun building this year? And 
as you look at all of this, and I'll give you a, a minute or two, because I know I'm going quickly through the questions, but as you look at all of this, then I want you to reflect on which ones have served you best. I often um, liken things to like rivers. <laughs> and I'll say, um, if you think about all these rivers and channels coming into your business, which run, one is running strongest? And are you happy with that one being the strongest river, right? So think about that for a moment. Okay, I always know when I start seeing all beautiful faces looking at me that it's time to move on to the next one. But I want to make sure you have a good list here for yourselves because as we move into the next, um, we're going to assess it. So I want you to look at that list again, um, you know, and think about, you know, we said, what do you have? But um, think about um, what you'll keep and what you want to get rid of as you move into next year. So again, the assets and offerings, if it's not selling, if it's not serving you or your base, maybe you need, you need to let it go. Acquisition retention, maybe you're realizing, gosh, I've been 100% focused on acquisition. I've been really you know, hitting the pavement hard, but we all know that's the virtual pavement now. <laughs> but maybe you really need to lean into your past clients and customers really need to lean into embracing your current community. So obviously we're not saying get rid of either, but think about which one you want to hold even tighter as you move into 2021. And the opportunities, as I mentioned, um, you know, this, this may already be happening, but really reflect on the partnerships, the podcast invitations, the things that are coming your way, those opportunities, whatever those look like for your business, um, evaluate them now, reflect on them and determine, is it worthwhile for your business? And is it moving you in the direction that you want to go moving forward? Opportunities are great, but only if they actually serve you well, otherwise they can keep you quite busy and move you off the target. Networks are the same way. And oftentimes you've heard me say before, uh, we can get so busy networking. Um, it's almost like you get on autopilot, you know, the places you always go. But really think here, I want you to list out the networking groups that you are a part of. And really think again here, are they serving you and your business well? I say there, there are things that you do to fill your cup to keep you motivated as an entrepreneur. Um, so know if it is that and don't have too many of them because then you might not have time for the other which ones which are to build your base, to grow your business. You need to be where they are and they meaning your prospects. And the last one here is activities. So assess, you know, like I said, you can get really busy with marketing. So think about some of those marketing activities you've been doing and they might be keeping you busy, but are they all beneficial? Really evaluate what you wanna keep doing and what you might wanna get rid of. I also think beyond busy, sometimes we see what other people are doing and um, we base our actions from a marketing perspective 
on what's trending or what we think we should be doing. But maybe it doesn't always feel aligned for you. In practicing authentic marketing, it's about saying, well, it's not always what other people are doing, but what makes sense for me and my business? If I don't feel comfortable doing it, maybe you need to move closer to that, figure that out, or maybe you just need to let it go. So I'll give you a moment on this one. Again, I know we have a list. I wanna say it. also any questions y'all have about these parts, um, what I'm listing here, or again, outside of this, feel free to utilize the chat for that. Okay, I think these are a long list y'all could be building, but I'm seeing some looks, so I'll keep moving. And, and you know, if we round out a little early, I'm, I think we'll either end early or y'all can, um, we'll have open dialogue because I, I don't deal well with silence, but it is necessary in study halls. So, <laughs> okay. Um, the next one I want to hit on here is, again, you, the more you hear me speak, the more you're going to hear this from me. Um, I say so often we look out, but sometimes it is entirely essential to look in. And so that is about what this next one is. What can you leverage? And I want you to look inward. So what are your unique strengths? And I think that in particular, um, this year has been very impactful, both personally and professionally. I don't think we can possibly go through this without having a deeper understanding of self something we've learned. And what I want you to think about is, have you gained a new strength, a resilience perhaps? And does that either strength or new value that you've connected with, does that serve you and your business? Does that serve your base in some way? Perhaps you've added um, a new skill, a new uh, opportunity that can serve your base serve your clients and customers that maybe you didn't know you had before this time.
Okay, it's totally fine if y'all are still working on this one. I want to say that we're moving. There's good momentum in this group, y'all. We're moving pretty quickly, and usually this is where we're at a midpoint where we take a break. So I'm going to leave it up to you, um, but I'm also happy to say what I'd like to do with this time instead, if you're up for it, is everyone unmute. Let's talk about any ahas at this juncture. We're at a midpoint, so let's look at it together. So feel free to unmute. <laughs> when you're ready. And uh, we can talk through those these first um, questions that you've been exploring for your business. I'm happy to share about environment. Um, and it will tie into the noise you may hear in the background, which relates to being a mom of two kids who are virtually schooled right now. Yeah. Um, so and, and sorry, hold on real quick. Dory is one of my longtime friends. I have to explain because not everybody knows Dory. Dory, you see in the background, she has her own business. One year now, right? Yep, just about. Congratulations, yay, over a year. But totally PR, she's a PR guru. And Dory and I are Florida State grads and I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for joining. I know this, I think your first event with me. And so I hope it's not your last, but go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm excited to be here. I appreciate it. And I, I would say it hits home for a lot of reasons because envir the environment, what's been forced on us by the pandemic and of course also by circumstances that you had mentioned, um, it, it's really shifting at least for my world being not even a year into my business in March, now having little colleagues around me all the time that I was not used to previously and having to wear Really, I thought being a mom had, had a lot of great opportunities and challenges before all this, and now I've learned there are even more. So it's really kind of leaning into being authentic and being transparent. I think a lot of my clients, I found, are giving a lot of grace, which I think mm -hmm. everybody can give more of. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone is dealing with challenges and has things, but I, to me, I feel like that's almost allowed for some more connectivity, people mm -hmm. to kind of let their guard down a little bit and have some more ability to empathize with what's going on or to commiserate a bit. Um, not in a way, of course, it detracts from your business and your progress, but I think in a way that can continue to elucidate some authenticity. Yeah. Which I think sometimes can be lacking um, in some business settings because people feel they have to present themselves or be, you know, articulate in a certain way and not show their true like colors. Stage ready. Not, <laughs> yeah, and I, I found at least it, it's in line with my personality too, just to be authentic, to have some understanding. And so for me, the environment piece really rang true with the different juggling of my schedules, my children, my husband going back to work, activities and things like that. So um, yeah. I think that's a good reflection point for sure. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Dory. And I also, I just have to say, I love all like many words that you shared there, grace, connectivity, empathy. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I'll just say Monday night, I spoke to a chapter of, um, it's called a Triple Impact Consulting Club, um, Planet, Profit, and People um, at UGA. And I spoke with them and uh, my husband wasn't home from work yet. And I had my daughter and I was like, just so you know, she'll be watching PJ Masks, but just in case. <laughs> and sure enough, you know, actually my husband got home and she was fine. She was really good because I hadn't let her watch PJ Masks that day. Um, so she was like, yeah, bad parenting. But anyhow, my it wasn't until my husband got home at the tail end of the presentation that she came wandering into the office. I go, here she is and bring her up on my lap, you know, and I think it, if anything, it was like a future look for the students. Like they're not parents yet, but this is what it'll be like one day. And I think to that point, Dory, honestly, I hope it's something we don't lose in our culture. I hope that we don't lose and understanding that there is a parent, there is a person behind every employee, behind every individual. I think this is a gift that we've been given this year. So good for you. I know, I know it's not easy, <laughs> but I can't imagine two. I just have one. <laughs> Anybody else want to share? Thank you, Dory. Any ahas, any um, moments and evaluation so far? Okay, totally fine. <laughs> well, yeah. you, oh yes. It's D. Listen, I just wanted to add on the authenticity piece because yeah, that's sure. so important these days. Um, until this pandemic hit, I was not authentically me, nor was I proud to be authentically me. 
So this shutdown has given me time to forgive my old self and forgive a lot of my old habits and self-doubts and fears and worries and insecurities and allowed me to break free of those. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And in sharing my authenticity and vulnerability on Facebook, I have almost given permission to others to do the same. It's awesome. The momentum that I've gained that way has been incredible. Wonderful, Dee. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. Um, it's interesting what happens when we don't have as many distractions to get away from ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> I think, yeah, this year has, um, we've had to get true and real with ourselves. So I'm so glad that that is serving you really well. Okay, y'all. Um, yeah, let's keep moving. Okay, so you. What else is you but up, right? As we talk about evaluation. So how will you move up and forward? So where are you now? Let's, let's capture that. Um, as you look at this you though, I want you, when I say, where are you now? Think about where your business is today. Is it seen? Um, do you have visibility? Uh, do you have interest? Um, is there a good traction? Really determine what um, you're seeking. So where are you now? And, and what, you know, where do you wanna go next? So if you feel like, um, okay, yeah, I've built awareness for my business, but I gotta get more traction. I gotta get more interest. Really hone into that here so that you have that clarity about what you're building. And then I want you to ask yourself, is there anything, maybe anyone, hopefully not, but anything in your way? Maybe sometimes I think as entrepreneurs, we can get in our own way, right? <laughs> That's probably the anyone. Um, but if so, what's necessary to move through it or past it? I say the journey of entrepreneurship brings up every personal piece of you. <laughs> so if you're shy, it's going to bring that right to the surface. <laughs> um, all kinds of things. And I think there's nothing like a pandemic to bring out your true colors too. So um, I think hopefully we're all ending this year more resilient, more strong, but I think we'd all be aligned if we didn't have our moments, right? <laughs> so I'll give you a minute on this one. Okay, I'm seeing some looks. I was catching up on the chat. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, we have to accelerate things, right? So how will we accelerate your growth? How will that happen? Well, let's look at, you know, 
the things that, so what is one thing that you can add or lean into? Let's look at that. Sometimes, you know, we bite off more than we can chew. So let's look at the one thing. I want you to consider, first off, what is selling well or often right now? So you can lean into that more. Maybe it's how you can finish the year strong. Uh, is there perhaps an unmet need? Is there something um, that, you know, you haven't yet tapped into that's affecting your base, your prospect? And uh, is there perhaps a new opportunity? Like as you look back at um, what you captured in the first one around environment, is there a new opportunity here for your business? Um, looking at environment and your strengths, um, perhaps there's something that has arisen out of this that you can add on to your offerings next year. And the last thing I wanna hit on here is, um, I mean, there's all kinds of, if y'all don't know James Clear and Atomic Habits, I highly recommend it, but there's all kinds of things about habits, right? Um, I think as you, we looked at activities and what's serving you, what isn't serving you, also think about, is there a new habit that you should set for yourself for next year? I know one I've already said is going for more walks. <laughs> I think I gotta get up a little bit more and use my standing desk, so. <laughs> Uh, what those new habits you want to build into your business, what are they? Because if we don't claim them as a new habit we want to build, you will find five months go by and you're not still not doing it. Best of intentions, but we're not bringing it to action. So take a moment here. Let me know if you have questions. Just wanna hop on and say, I know there's a couple of people who came in a little bit after the start timing. You're probably a little confused if this is your first time. So I'm just gonna explain again. Um, this is, uh, we build on you know one letter at a time and um, how we evaluate. It's a um, study hall style event where I prompt um, questions for you to reflect. Um, I encourage you, if you miss the first part, I will share the recording after this with all of you. So please be sure to go back because I think um, hopefully you'll find even more value out of that, but happy you could join nonetheless. Um, let's move into the next uh, question here. Questions. T. I'm cheating. I'm giving two T's. Consider your time and team for growth. And I want to say that whether you look at your time as um, the physical time, you know, uh, time on a clock, how you're spending it, and or I think time as you spend it, you know, expelling emotional energy, right? Like, especially like the energy it takes to run your business, especially in a pandemic, right? So um, we often don't think about, you know, the energy or the time that goes towards worry or all the time. I, I don't know about y'all, but I do my best thinking in the shower. So, and sometimes I dream about my business. 
And so I'm not counting those hours, don't worry. But I think um, really this is about carving out uh, the space that you need to work most effectively for your growth. So how are you working? Are you working long hours, weekends? Some businesses, I mean, you build the business you want, right? What kind of boss do you wanna to be to yourself? Maybe you love working on the weekend, but really no, is that serving you or are you hating it? Because you're the, you're the boss of your business, but sometimes we find ourselves in businesses that even though we're our own boss, aren't bringing us a lot of joy. So we gotta fix that if we're gonna continue growing. Are you uh, clear on how you should spend your time? Is it consistent or inconsistent? Um, you know, do you go through periods where it's a lot of hours all at once um, because maybe there's a big project and then it's like a desert? Um, I think that's an opportunity that's really kind of like, or they say feast or famine, that's really an opportunity to look at, okay, how do I redesign my business? Whether you like that and you take a vacation in those other times, or you say, oh, that's not serving me because it's like a roller coaster ride. Like you have to look at how your business is structured so that you create a different opportunity. And are you clear about where you should spend your time from a marketing perspective? And again, with energy, are you energized by your business? Or are you exhausted? How are we gonna change that as we evaluate and reflect on this year to make that not the case for next year? And the last thing I wanna hit on here is, um, you know, as you think about all of this in terms of team, first off, who's missing? So uh, do you, if you're working long hours, I know myself, I have a couple of assistants now. I reached a point where the exhaustion set in and I had my daughter home with me and I was like, yeah, it's time to bring on the help. Um, so just be honest with yourself and, and if you're missing some people on your team. Um, but I think the first part of this is who do you already have? Um, whether that is reminding yourself of the partners, partnerships that you might have in your business, people that help you to build your business. Um, or also I call it the unpaid yet highly valuable team, which is hopefully your friends and family. I think that as we look at um, next week being Thanksgiving, there couldn't be a more opportune time to really take this moment, list out who's on your team, right? Um, I know my husband's top of that list. <laughs> He's always got my back and um, moments where I need to hear that encouragement, he's there for me. And I think that um, we shouldn't take any of that for granted. I think it's about having gratitude for who's there. Um, maybe there's some new family members who have shown support or friends who've shown support for your business this year. Um, but capture that list of who is on that list for you. And I hope you take this opportunity after this to write a thank you, give a call, something as we, as we give gratitude and thanks for the team behind us in our business. I'll give y'all a minute here. Hey y'all, I hope, I hope y'all are still writing a long list of all those supporters you have. Um, but let's round out. The last one I have here is E, of course, but I'd be remiss if I didn't use 
evaluate as the word. But what I really want to focus in on, I mean, yes, we've been evaluating all along, but I think sometimes we overlook the center of this word, which is all about value. Now we hit on value earlier in terms of what you've gained or lost, but what I want to hit on here is um, really let's pause for this moment and ask yourself, what do you value most in your business? Um, I just recently wrote about this, but I think there are three main drivers for your business. <laughs> and um, I think that's reputation, relationships, revenue. So I wanna focus you in on those three R's. And what I want you to do is think about um, which one you value most. Now, I'm, I know you're gonna feel like, well, Catherine, I want all of them. I want every single one of those things. And that is, that is truth, yes. But it's also hands down what contributes to feelings of overwhelm when you're marketing. Because when you're trying to get all of these things at one time, you are just spreading yourself all over the place. And that's what leads to long hours and overwhelm. Um, so what I wanna ask you to think about is which one you're gonna choose as your footing to start the new year. I want you all to, I encourage you, I'll ask you to please share your one in the chat. I'd love to know so I can support that footing and be your cheerleader on the sidelines. And I will share more about this if you all are interested. Um, I encourage you to read the article, but I will also make sure it's in your inbox after this. So you can read more about it. But um, in a nutshell, what I do say is that, you know, we may want all of them, but perhaps you're a person who is a super networker. Maybe you run a networking group. Um, you probably have a lot of relationships. So maybe you've been on that foot, but you're going to start on that foot, but you're going to lean into your relationships and your community to help you build your reputation. What this is about is saying, what can you, it's a, another way of saying leverage, what can you leverage to really leap into the new year? Um, I think that, again, if you're looking at them as separate pieces, uh, they're harder to build. But if you lean into one that is already strong and you allow that to give you momentum into another, that's how you uh, effectively build your business without going crazy. <laughs> so I let me put this on mute and I'm gonna look at the chat. Any questions, y'all let me know. I think just a couple of you have shared, but I want to say I think it's um, beautiful to see, you know, uh, relationships coming through as the main thing um, for some of you. I think, as many people say, people don't do business with businesses, they do business with people. So um, whether you are, you're not an entrepreneur and you're out in the job market, you know, they say by the time something hits a website, like it's pretty much ancient. It's about the jobs that aren't hitting the website. And that's all through relationships. I think business is a lot that way as well. Reputation, brand management, that's a great one, Diane. I think um, I want to hit on that note because I think often what I say about your brand too is that um, every business has one, whether you are uh, telling that story or not, right? Um, a lot of times I'll ask people, well, what do you think your clients value most about you? And they might say, well, I don't know. And I think the short answer to that is, if you don't know, ask, pick up the phone, build that relationship even deeper with your clients. Um, because what you want in your business is to make sure that there's a reflection, that what you intend to happen, what you intend, that value you intend to give can be well-received and seen. And um, also that you're, staying in touch and attuned to what your base needs. When we can build that, that's another R for you. We can build that reflection with intention and clarity. I say, this is what, like, why Blockbuster went out of business. 
<laughs> they weren't looking out the window. They were just looking in a mirror. Um, but, you know, it's about a reflection, not the mirror, not just looking out the window, but how do you and your uh, clients, your base, balance one another? How do you continue to feed value to one another? Thank you all for sharing. Um, I don't know if Lisa's already dropped, but Lisa, if you're still here, thank you. Yeah, there you are. Uh, thanks for being here. I know you have to hop a little early. I will um, I'll bring this home for you all. And if you have questions at the end, let me know. Um, but I wanted to hit on something y'all probably heard me say. If not, I'm gonna um, you know, close out with it. But one of the things I, I talk about, I already mentioned fire. So here we are gathered around a fire. You didn't know it. Um, but I think that uh, one thing I want to, you all to even write down, but really know for yourself is that your business is a destination and you are building a base. That is about building your fire. What makes somebody want to come around and gather around your fire, right? What is attracting them to your business? What's gonna keep them there? What are they drawn to? What makes your camp, your base, your destination unique, different? If you think about your business as a destination, think about why you, you know, pre-pandemic obviously, why you preferred one hotel or one attraction over another. There's something unique about it that speaks to you. That's what you're building for your business. So many times, if you all are wondering, you know, you're probably wondering, well, why did Catherine ask some of those questions she did with registration for this event? So I'm going to clear, clear up that right now. <laughs> so, um, you know, I asked about tracking. I think what I want to say there is that sometimes, so many times we can get so busy doing that we, you know, we're moving, but we don't track it. So we don't know, you know, what's really feeding the fire. If you really think about how logs, logs, yes, I went there tracking your logs, <laughs> tracking with logs. You think about how logs, um, they like the purpose they serve in a fire, like you have to move them around, right? For the fire to keep burning. It's the same thing. Um, this is one of the most overlooked pieces of business. And what I say actually rounding out last year and moving into the beginning of this year with the logs alone that I teach my business and utilize as well, I, earned more money in the first three months of this year than all of last year because I simply looked at what worked. So I hope this, if nothing else, is a message for you to evaluate, reflect, and figure out what is going to keep you moving forward, what's going to, where you spend your time, your energy is going to be most beneficial for you. And, um, and then I also asked about a plan. I think all of that you know, how do you, how do you make that path? How do you make a plan for growth if you don't know, you know, what's feeding it, right? What's feeding and fueling your fire? Um, where should you put your attention? And the other thing I say here is that there is a difference between the path that you take and the one that you make. A path that you take is what's already been trodden, right? You can do that, but maybe it doesn't feel aligned for you. Maybe it doesn't, work with your life and the changes in your environment. So I think that you have to build, make a path for yourself. That's about carving it out and doing what works for your business, authentic marketing. Um, you know, we can always be in motion. We can always be hustling, but busy is not always beneficial. And uh, that's why I created these momentum gatherings because it is all about the moments that you spend that give you momentum. And I think that when you can understand, uh, you know, ponder, reflect, and gain clarity of your intentions, it helps you gain direction, and that helps you gain momentum moving forward. So I want you all to take this moment to reflect on your time here. First thing I want you to do is look back at the intention you set at the beginning. And the next thing I want you to do, first of all, with that, I want you to say, Oh, did that? Did I did I get that out of this event, right? Um, and if you didn't, you know, maybe this was your first time in this event, um, and now you have a better understanding of what it's about. 
or you know, if you didn't, maybe it's further pondering and reflection you can do after this event. But the other thing I want you to do is share your takeaway. What have you gained from this experience? Whether that's connected to your intention or not. I'd love for you all to share in a word your takeaway from this experience today in our momentum gathering together. If you'll please put that in the chat, I greatly appreciate it. And um, I'll give you a moment to do that as you ponder and reflect. Okay, I will, I see nothing in the chat. So I'm just gonna assume you're still contemplating, but I would love to see it in the chat. So <laughs> um, the, there we go, there y'all are typing. Let's see. Oh, I like that word, D, wisdom. That's your own wisdom you've gained, right? Framework, planning, I love it, I love it. And these are moments I think, I do this quarterly, but I really encourage you to, um, one, one question I say to ask frequently is, you know, what has been my best marketing? A lot of times I'll ask somebody, what has been your best marketing in the last 30 days in your business? And they have to stop and wonder. But I think if you're asking yourself that regularly, it's again, a way of logs, fuel in the fire, right? This is like a log, um, evaluating your, your year. Cultivate wonder, oh, y'all, these are beautiful words, thank you. Well, and I just know I've shared a lot of different pieces. I always offer this, this is a marketing momentum strategy call. This is, I've thrown a lot at you, all these different pieces, right? So if you're like, Catherine, thank you for all these thought provoking questions, but what do I do with this jigsaw puzzle now? This is why I offer this call. It's about pulling it together. You know, how are you gonna pull these pieces to plan for your momentum? How are you going to end this year strong and start on the right setting next? Um, I am here to support entrepreneurs. I believe entrepreneurs will change this world. And I think that we are a strong force to be reckoned with. So I hope you will take advantage of that. Um, I have time, you can use this link. Forgot to put it in the chat. I will throw it in at the end, but um, feel free. It's a 30 minute call, complimentary um, to help you take these pieces that we've talked through together today, whatever you've written down for your business. And I wanna help you put them together. I'm a, I love puzzles. <laughs> and for now, I'll leave you with this. Evaluate what you want because what gets measured gets produced. Thank y'all. I think, yeah, six minutes early. So I'm happy to stay on. I give y'all a full hour, but um, any questions y'all have, don't hesitate to speak up. You can unmute yourselves if you want, or you can mute yourself back six, six minutes a time. But thank you all for being here. Yeah, Catherine, this is Nelson. How are you? Hey, Nelson. Yeah, I saw you. Thank you so much for being here. And I know you're signing yeah. up for one of those calls because we talked about it in advance. So please do. <laughs> well, yeah, because this is my first time and I am thoroughly blown away. Uh, it's like drinking through a fire hose. So I do, <laughs> need to, um, I do need to talk through a lot of this. So. That's, that's a great place to be, Nelson. We will use that time for that. Yeah. And I, 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 I take that as a compliment. I think. <laughs> that's why I say they're captivating thought provoking questions. I think I, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot at once, but that's why I say um, between now and our conversation, uh, just find another 20 minutes to process it further. Um, because right now I'm just giving you a few minutes to capture it, write it down. You might have more that you want to process, um, but uh, I definitely know it's a lot. I try to pack it in a lot of value all at once, right? So I'm glad that you felt that. <laughs> What's the, uh, I, I think the slide, is this where you okay. go to sign up or the slide before that? Let me go back. Um, hold on a minute. Oh, no, that. Well, let me throw it in the chat. Let me, um, let me just throw it in the chat because that is going to be the easiest way for y'all to get it. And you see my screen anyhow, so let's throw it here. 
There you go. Oh, no, that went to D, sorry. <laughs> you got it, D, but not everyone else. There we go. Mm -hmm. Not everyone else has it. So feel free to use it. Um, anybody else want to talk about takeaways? Any questions? I know this is a different experience. Most of the time people are talking the whole time. Here's all my knowledge. But I think you guys are a wealth of your own information. This is the right question. Deborah, are you speaking? You're on, you're on mute. <laughs> I am so happy no, you're here. I, was, I miss you. I was talking to myself and to you. I just said it's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. It really is. That's, no, it's, it's awesome. It always is. And I, I so appreciate it. Oh, it's, I appreciate you, Dorena. It's been a while. I miss our coffee shop over. <laughs> I know. I can't. I know. One day. One day. It's. It's. Yeah. Very but good. um. But yeah, I hope I see you later uh, next month. I don't know if you got that invitation, and I just. Yeah, you just have such a smiley, happy face. I'm happy to see you again. I'm glad Thank that you got a lot of value out of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> Diane, great to see you too. Thanks, Kim. There's Diane. Uh, yeah, can you unmute Diane? There we go. Yeah. Hey there. Hey. Hi, yeah. Hi Deborah. How have you been? Yeah. Um, I will be happy when 2021 comes around. I've had some <laughs> health issues. I've had some health issues, um, but uh, career-wise, um, settling into my personal styling as the number one priority. Yeah. Which yeah. that was a good uh, move for me. Yeah. And uh, just really concentrated on some marketing and where I looked and evaluated that all of my clients have been through more networking events. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. um, it was pretty much eye opener on how I can. Might as well top that, half, right? I'm... Of networking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't assess the whole half. look whenever it's just the top half. <laughs> and I have to say, your glasses are quite stylish. So. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. And so that's kind of where I am. I've enjoyed um, your workshop today. Great. Brought great. some new things to mind that I need to concentrate and, um, and go forward. So thank you for the invite. Of course, always. I And I would love to catch up. So please book some time because it's oh, been a while. Sure. We need that one on one time, I think. So I know it has yeah. been too long for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's crazy yeah. when a year okay. passes so quickly. So yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you, everybody. I've, I'll stay a minute more if there's any questions. I don't be a stranger, but I certainly want to say hi to all my good friends and wonderful community. Appreciate you being here. Hey, Alina. Thank you. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank bye, you. Bye. Take care. Happy holidays. Bye, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Catherine, thank you for sharing your self-knowledge and wisdom with us. I mean, you were definitely gifted and you share it and I'm just so grateful. Oh, big hugs. It's just like a huge virtual hug happening. Right I now. hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dee. Thank you. Good to see you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, thank all. Bye-bye. <laughs>